Hello everyone, welcome to this latest tutorial. As you can see, uh, the player that we're featuring today is Lionel Messi and it's set up for Instagram, nice square document and we've got some text in the background, a little bit of splatter uh, you can see some faint dots uh, just embedded there as a texture and a desaturated Messi with a stroke around him. Uh, pretty simple to do, so if you're new to Photoshop this tutorial is ideal for you. Again, if you're uh, just looking for a new way, new ideas, okay, feel free just to uh, skip through by pressing L on your keyboard and uh, it'll show you how I've done the process. But like I said, if you're brand new, this tutorial is, f is for you. If at any point I do go too fast, just hit K on your keyboard, which will pause it. J will skip you back 10, 15 seconds. And like I've just said, L will skip you forward a few seconds. Uh, just before I start then, uh, if I could uh, just plug a couple of things. Okay, I've got a new project. Uh, it's to do with sim racing, obviously it's, uh, it's grown quite popular recently and uh, I've started a new project, a new YouTube channel. So if you want to go check that out, if you're into uh, racing games or sim racing, um, yeah, feel free. should be a video popping up here in the top corner now. Just go ahead, just go check it out and if you like it, uh, go subscribe and uh, watch a couple of videos uh, on sim racing. It'd be uh, much appreciated. As well, if you're also new to uh, Photoshop, okay, there should be a new image here. Uh, popping up uh, when I'm editing the video, I'll decide which is uh, probably the best video, and I'll put it up here on the right again. Just something, uh, just something to check out, and I'll put all the links to these in the description below. Likewise, with all the with the uh, stock image as well, and the text and uh, the texture, I'll put all that in the description below. Anyway, enough rambling on. I'm going to start. So I'm working on a Mac, so I'm going to press Command N. If you're working on a Windows, press Control N. Now I always like to work off a new document. And for this one, it's just going to be 1,000 by 1,000 width and height. Like I said, it's uh, it's for Instagram. Uh, you can also use it on Twitter as well. But if you want to make it a phone screen res phone screen resolution, just uh, give it a Google what resolution your phone is and uh, what pixels you need, width and height. Okay, plug it in there, and you can uh, you can make this for a phone phone lock screen as well. I'm using 300 pixels per inch RGB color, 8 bit, and we've gone for a white background. I'm going to click create. Now the first thing on my uh, latest palette here, I'm just going to get rid of that little padlock. I'm going to fill the colour. Now you can see I've already got it set up here. Uh, if you see black and white in your foreground colour over there, okay, the hex code is 2A5BD4. 2A5BD4. I'm going to click OK. So as I've got it set as my foreground colour, I'm going to press Alt and Backspace or Alt and Delete. You can also, if you wanted to do a little trick, if you wanted to do the, the, the colour for the background, okay, if you wanted to do that, you could press Command and Backspace. So I'm going to press Alt and Backspace. Okay, now I'm going to uh, introduce the texture. I'm going to drop it in there. And you can see... It's, uh, it's not quite a square, so I'm just going to uh, grow it in proportion. There we go. Sorry, wrong. I'm holding Shift and Alt because I'm not working on. Uh, I'm working on a Photoshop that's older than uh, 2019. Uh, if you're working on 2019 or older, you don't need to worry about that. You can just grow it in proportion. So with the constraints, you can just uh, grow it in proportion. If not, if you're working on an old uh, software like myself or CS6, okay, just hold shift and it will grow without constraints. Anyway, I'm going to hit enter on that. I'm going to change the blend mode to soft light. And I'm going to drop the opacity down to 30. And I'm going to drop the fill down to 30 as well. And what you can also do is you can add a layer mask on there. So I'm going to click this little icon at the bottom. I'm going to select layer mask. Go for a nice soft brush tool. It's a little bit too much. Drop the flow down. Okay. You just paint away little bits where it's a little bit too strong. Okay. We don't want the spots sticking out too much. But again, it's nice just to have a little bit of mixture so it's not all quite uniform. And I think that looks quite well there, so I'll go with that. 
Next thing then, I'm going to get my messy text. So I'm going to add a new layer and it's going to pop up in the top. Bearing in mind I've got that layer there selected. I'm going to change that layer to uh, texture. Okay, and this one's going to be uh, messy text. Okay, I'm going to hit T on my keyboard so the uh, type tool pops up. Okay, if you don't see the type tool there, just hold it down. Okay, it should be there on your settings. Horizontal type tool. Now, the font I'm using is, I'm not even going to pronounce it, Delanda, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to make sure I've got white selected. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to make sure it's just on the left side there, makes it a lot smoother. Now, I've got it at 48 there. Drag it down. We'll try 10. Okay, I'm just going to type out messy, messy, messy. Press Command A. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Okay, and if the text is a little bit too wide, okay, I'm going to go to my uh, character tool. If you can't see these here, click on Window at the top. Okay, and uh, all the different tools will, should pop up there. Okay, and you can set the distance you want the text between each other for the letters. I've gone for around minus 30. Let's play around with those settings. Sorry. There we go. That one there. I'm just going to close them up a little bit. Don't know why those settings have changed. And I'm just going to type messy again. Okay, press Command A. So it's all highlighted. Command C to copy it. Have a space after the last messy and press Command V. And I'm going to do it again. Command V. That's looking good. Probably just to make things a little bit easier, I'm just going to delete a couple of them. And you'll see what we're going to do now. Press Command A again. Command C. Press Enter. Command V, enter, Command V, Command C, Command A, Command C. Okay, just rinse and repeat. Make sure you get it on the end. Command V, enter, Command V, enter, Command V. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. So that's what you want to have by the time you've finished it all. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're just going to add a layer mask to that. Okay, and notice we've got black and white selected over here on our foreground colour. I'm going to hold Alt and Backspace, and I'm just going to get rid of all of it. So it's all hidden. Now I'm going to hit B on my brush tool. I've got my soft brush again. And press X on your keyboard, and it'll swap the foreground and background colours over. If at any point you need to reset, press D. So say you've got red over here. It's just gone grey because I'm on the... Uh, I'm on the uh, <laughs> layer mask palette, but uh, if you want to just press D and it all just resets it. Anyway, I digress. Uh, holding white there, okay, got the flow down, probably put it about 50, let's check that out. And don't want it too big because it's gonna, there we go. Let's have a look, just click it once. A little bit too much, but we'll go with that for now. That's. Uh, that's looking all right. I think that looks a little bit better. So there we've done our messy text. Happy days. Next, I'm going to drop in messy. So I'm going to come back out of here. I'm going to go to my source files and I'm going to drop messy in and I'm going to resize him. And it's looking okay there. Fantastic. Okay, I'm just going to make a copy of him. I'm just going to hide that bottom layer just in case anything goes wrong. Um, it's sorted. Uh, okay, before I start working on Messy, what I'm going to do is, in fact, no, we'll work on Messy first. So I'm going to add a hue saturation layer. So I'm just going to convert it into a smart object. This means we can um, just go back and edit him. Okay, I'm going to go to adjustment layers and I'm going to go to hue saturation. And I'm going to shift. Make sure I'm on master. I'm going to shift this to plus 18. And as you do this, just make sure you've got this little icon here, clipping mask selected, and just click there. What this clipping mask does, it means our hue saturation layer will only be applied to the layer directly underneath. 
Um, I do have people ask me about the clipping mask and how to put it on. So uh, if you're still unsure, just put it in the comments and uh, I'll answer it to you. And then mine is 73. I've got down here. It was about 75. We'll go with that. And sword. Now if you see the little icon, eye icon there, you can see the difference we've made. Yep, it's looking fantastic. Now what we can also do is, um, with this layer underneath, we, we can actually use it. It's, uh, it's going to be fine. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm just going to add a stroke. So again, I'm going to convert it to a smart object. And let me just go back and sample the colour. In fact, no, what we'll do is we'll sample from his shirt. So I'm going to hide that. So I'm going to press I for my eyedropper tool. You know, I've selected it there. And I'm going to click the red burgundy colour. Okay, and the colour we've got is 8B1B31. 8B1B31. And just with that, I forgot to explain. The reason I've gone for this blue colour is I selected like a, a light blue. I selected the blue from his shirt. Obviously, it ties in with him being Argentinian. And it's just a nice colour as well. That's why I've gone for a blue background. Whatever you play, you choose. Obviously, just go with whatever you feel. Um, anyway, just hiding that uh, desaturated layer for now. And we're going to add a stroke. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the fill. I'm going to drop the fill all the way down. So you notice it's disappeared. I'm going to double double click the layer icon, get my layer style, hit stroke. Okay, I've got size two pixels, position, make sure that's on the outside. Blend mode normal, opacity is 100, fill type color, and that's the color we used before. Uh, yep, it is, yep. 8D1D35. Hit OK. Hit OK. And then we've got our... Uh, our stroke. Now if you notice on the other image I had him uh, off center a little bit. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to collapse that, I'm going to right uh, command T, I'm going to right click and I'm going to click distort. In fact, and I'm not going to click warp. Warp's the one you want. Okay, and just pull him out a little bit. And again, it's just I don't know, it's just like a bit of a line. It just adds a little bit more depth to your image, to your, to your edit, to your design. It's just, um, it just gets people looking and seeing another uh, interesting little feature on your design. And there we go, hit enter, command zero. Okay, I'll take your time on that one. I've just done that for the purposes of the tutorial. Anyway, I digress. Okay, select this messy text layer, new layer icon underneath. Okay, and we're going to call this splatter. Okay, hit B for your brush tool, right click, and oh, I've got a brush from brusheasy.com, and I'll link it in the description below. As you can see, it's ginormous. I'm just going to slow that down. Okay, hit your bracket. God, it's all going wrong. Make it a little bit bigger. Okay, you can use your bracket tools on your keyboard and press X, make sure you've got white selected there. Command, Command Z, bring my flow back up. And what you can do is, this is what I did. This, the main part, the bit that's over the messy now, okay, I don't want too much, so I'm just going to click it there, okay, I'm going to right click, I'm going to swing it round, I'm going to click again, hit V, now when I hide messy there, you see a lot, all the, a lot of it's behind him, it's hidden away, that's kind of what I wanted, okay, if you do have too much, just create a layer mask, black selected, brush, soft brush, and just paint, click away the stuff that you don't want, and we're going to finish it off just with the text, uh, new layer at the top, Hit T for your text tool. Okay, this time I'm going to go up to about 44. Um, same script. In fact, I'm just going to hide that layer for now. Select that layer. T, text. It's important you do that. Just hide that layer just because it's annoying. Okay. Just type out messy. So 
who's better than Messi or Ronaldo? Put your answer in the description below. I see that so many times on social media. People arguing about who's Bessie. better. Who cares? Just enjoy both of them. Because I guarantee in 10 years, you'll be telling people how good they were and they just won't believe you. Just enjoy watching them now while they're still in their careers. Anyway, there we go. There's our edit. Uh, there's our messy edit. Nice, short and sharp. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, hit like. Uh, if you're new to my channel and you enjoyed this tutorial, hit subscribe. And thanks for watching. And like I mentioned before, my new project, Sim Racing, if you're interested in uh, driving games, Sim Racing, uh, go check that out. Description's in the uh, link below. That'd be much appreciated with your help there. Again, make any sort of designs like this. Tag me uh, on Instagram or send me a message. Uh, it's easier if you tag me because for some reason the inbox on Instagram is really slow for getting messages through. Um, so if I don't reply to you straight away, it's because of that. Genuinely is. Um, but yeah, I've loved seeing your designs and uh, love helping people. Uh, so it's fantastic. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.